And then all of a sudden, when I'm about to like reach an epiphany, over here from somewhere, oh, Jing Chong Ling Long Ting Tong. Oh. Okay, that's the uh, that's the UCLA chick. How do you describe her? Hot. Hot blonde with a, uh, a a body she's very proud of. Now, I know for a fact that that whole ch- Ching Chong thing is especially uh, off limits because it was a particular slur used back in the day. Ching Chong Chinaman was, Ching, was, was a, was a like slur that, yeah. used by people. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And so that's why a lot of people are so upset, I think. Although somebody did text, why is Ching Chong offensive, but hergy burgy schmurgy for Swedish people seems to be acceptable. Because they don't have a, a political <laughs> presence. <laughs> orgy borgy horgy. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, but the, that's why she's in, got the trouble she's got is that, that Ching Chong thing is particularly a, a, a thing. Yeah, but God dang it, if she didn't know it, there's no intent. Quit calling her hot. She's like an iceberg. Only 5% of her mass is showing in the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Also from the text line, and this one I love. Uh, she's a racist and an idiot. Go suck on your own effing boobs, you slut. UCLA sucks. <laughs> what the? Whoa, Jesus. Wait a minute. You can't send that and you can't read it. What's the matter with you people? Uncivilized. Now, I'm not- read, read that again. <laughs> <laughs> She's a racist and an idiot. Go suck on your own effing boobs, you slut. <laughs> oh, UCLA God. sucks. Wow. 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 So clearly a USC fan alum. So I'm not coming to the defense of the boobies, but how many times are you going to hear a mocking Irish accent today? A uh, hundred, thousand. Yeah. Foreign languages, particularly those that come from a different language stem. You got your Germanic languages, you got et cetera, et cetera. Sound very strange to the ear of somebody who's unfamiliar with them. God, you're going to be okay, people. Could be insensitive. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think this chick has any intent. I don't think she has any idea what she's I doubt she has as many epiphanies as she claims, either. (laughs) People are really going after her on our Facebook page right now. Oh, I'll bet. Wait. I'll bet. Wait a minute. Drinks are cheaper uh, at a happy hour. (laughs) Who's one of her epiphanies? (laughs) (laughs) Wait a minute. When I wear this shirt, this real low cut, my professors don't yell at me for not getting my homework in. (laughs) Another epiphany. (laughs) That picture I showed you, I also posted on our Facebook page. I said, it looks like she's about to have an epiphany. Someone says, you say epiphany. I say bowel movement. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. See, there's no... There's no need to go there. The snarkiness that, that has uh, invaded the world of the internet is just, oh. it's not a step in the right I'm direction. I'm not sure I want to join in no. with it. No. Although that, that her own Tata's thing was... Uh, oh, that was disgusting. Petri and Vallejo. Petri, how are you? Hey, what's happening, guys? How's always, everyone? always good to hear from you. What do you think? Well, you know, you guys have been summing it up, saying as, uh, everything that a guy feel about it. I mean, I support that girl. I don't think she did anything wrong. I mean, does that make me a racist just because I would express my feelings about a similar scenario? Well, well uh, I would. Th- I think that even if it, what she said, even if it is racist, by if most people agree it's racist, so what? You don't kick her out of school. Yeah. Why would you right. kick her out of school for that? And then why did that get singled out and put into the news media headlines? I mean, I saw it on mainstream news. And you did? Yeah. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. I went to the internet and checked it out. I watched it. I mean, sure, she's kind of chubby. I do her, but you know. Oh, good lord! Thank you for no, this no, conversation. Dad is probably listening, Patrick. Wait, wait, this, no, but listen to this. Good lord! Hey, hold on. Listen. Why would I listen to somebody who just said that? We're talking about the First Amendment here. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, this is something different. Yesterday you were talking about names, about people's funny names, remember? Oh, boy. I worked at the airport. I did customer service, sold airline tickets, and I had a customer. His name was Ding Dong. <laughs> okay? Was he a and clown? Funny. <laughs> was he a clown in full garb? <laughs> it was an Asian guy. Oh. Hello, Mr. Ding Dong. Can I help you today? All right. I think discretion being the better part of valor. I'll hang up the phone now. If if this is make if this story's making on to legitimate news, how is it being uh, couched? I mean, how is it being portrayed? Oh, that she's uh, racist and insensitive, and people are very hurt and very what? offended, and deeply what? wounded, 
And that there are those, well, you know how the freaking empty-headed jackasses of TV news handle these things. Because they have no idea what they're talking about. People are very offended uh, at, at what she said. And Boy, we've there gotta, is a, a growing belief among alumni and students that she should be expelled. We've got to figure out how we're going to handle the, the Internet world. Like blogs and YouTube, for instance. Because for a lot of younger people, practically everything they think is either on a blog or on a YouTube video. Yeah. So is that now going to be considered like a, a broadcast? <laughs> or is it just something somebody said somewhere, like you said it in a bar to a guy, but because it was on your blog or because it was on YouTube, you're held to the standards that broadcast is handed. I don't know how right, we're going to handle this. Right. Well, that's an intriguing question and one that we'll absolutely confront. I'm just thinking about how much I love my children, how proud I am of them, each different in different ways. But my son's attitude toward blogs is... Why the hell do I care what you think? <laughs> which, is, which is what I've always thought. Oh, he's such a good boy. Uh, James and Lodi. James, talk to us. Yeah, hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Um, I'm just wondering why we sensationalize the idiocy all the time. Because uh, it's more funny. Specific. Well, it's just like we're throwing people that make stupid comments all the time up onto the television nowadays just because they're able to get on the internet and throw their face up and say, hey, I'm a dumbass, you know, look at this. <laughs> right, and then, and then we decide that they're, uh, uh, you know, the moral equivalent of Adolf Hitler. There you go, a little something for you, Michael. Well, you just blow it off. Yeah. Well, right, that's sort of what I'm talking about. If, if every utterance is broadcast by all young people, then we, so we then we pick out the dumbest utterances out there and then all beat up on them for being dumb. I mean that kind of seems odd to me. And, and the media screams conflict, fight, fight. They said their own thing, fight, fight. Great, everybody on Wadger panties. Oh boy, you're listening to the Armstrong and Getty Show.